So, round one of this eight-round heavyweight contest between Paul Sykes of Wakefield, and he's in the black shorts, against Keith Johnson of Barnsley. And this is a really intriguing one, because this man, Paul Sykes, is something of a mystery. Oh, and already he's in business. Right and left to the head. And Johnson's down, and he's in trouble. What a sensational start. Up at the count of seven. Sykes... It's a man for whom a tremendous future has been predicted. His first professional fight at the age of 30, and he's giving Johnson a pasting. Rights and lefts to the body. He's like a machine, the man. Surely, at this rate, this fight will not last very long at all. Ten seconds to go, and not enough time. The Saints to finish it off, although he's having a jolly good try. Five seconds to go. A right there to the head. And Keith Johnson has never been so pleased to hear the bell at the end of a round. And that, without question, belongs to Paul Sykes. He's a man for whom big things have been predicted. And in fact, that's it. Johnson's pulled out. And so, without a blow being struck, in round two, the winner, Paul Sykes, of Wakefield, in his first professional one. against John L. Gardner for the British and Commonwealth heavyweight titles. It was an evenly matched contest as it entered the sixth round. Well, this is clearly going to be a battle of stamina. Question of whose strength gives out first. There's going to be no respite because Gardner's not that sort of man. The end could be very near here. Can't put him down, but he's doing everything else for him. And he turned away, and that was the sign. He turned away, and that was what Grimmer was waiting for. So the great chance in life for Sykes has come and gone without success. 